With the Bridgerton 3 trailer out and many details emerging, we just found some facts and crazy stories about why Lord Debling could be the chosen one instead of Colin. And the new evidence is very much insane. It's no longer news that Colin has put Penelope into a friend zone, which is hard to escape. However, Lord Debling is entering society with a readiness to find a wife and go through the proper steps to find one. And luckily enough, Penelope has been looking for a suitor too as she doesn't need another friend, which means Lord Debling might do more than get Colin jealous in season three. The man isn't going after Penelope for fun, as he has seen through the gem others have been blind to. One of the reasons why it's obvious Lord Debling could snatch Pen away from Colin forever is that season three will start with Colin's cluelessness again. According to the trailer, Colin has a hard time listening to his heart as he continues to see Pen as a friend, even offering to help her find a husband since that's what she's after. Even Eloise doesn't know that Penn could have a crush on Colin, as she wonders why Colin suddenly seems interested in finding Penn a husband, but Colin believes he's just helping out a friend. Interestingly, Colin will take the task seriously by introducing suitors to Penn, whom she wouldn't like but has to play along with because she wants to get married. However, many suitors coming to Penelope, even if she doesn't want them, will give her a lot of confidence and bring her even better gentlemen. Lord Debling coming on board will make a lot of difference because it's believed that Penelope would be deeply attracted to him. Although love isn't the same as attraction, it will go a long way in helping Penn find the perfect husband. In the Regency era, steps must be followed before one can be married, and Penelope would be willing to start that process again even though she had done it a few times before. Although Colin sees Penn as a friend, it's not in Penn's place to woo Colin to her side as that would be wild. So, like every other young lady seeking to marry, Penn must find a gentleman keen on taking a wife, and Lord Debling fits right into that. Like seen before in the show, fans have learned that a young unmarried lady must not be with a man alone except with a chaperone. And that was easy for Penelope and Colin to do in the earlier seasons because Eloise was always in the picture. Unfortunately, Eloise is no longer Penn's friend, so Colin and Penn's friendship means they would now have to be alone most of the time, which could be dangerous. The crazy thing is that instead of Colin thinking a chaperone is needed whenever he's alone with Penelope, he assumes he could take the role of a chaperone if she wants to meet other men. In one of the sneak peeks released, Penn tries to follow the societal rule by calling Colin Mr. Bridgerton, but Colin doesn't give her the same respect because she's just a friend. Also, he wasn't worried about being seen together with Penn in public, but instantly wanted privacy when Penn raised last season's courtship issues, which means Colin knows what's right to do with a lady but doesn't just think Penn is that lady. No matter how much an unmarried man and woman love each other secretly, courtship rules in the Regency era must still be obeyed for a successful marriage. Colin has repeatedly broken all those rules with Penelope, which we will explain in detail. So, in the Regency era, people who aren't families or friends are not allowed to call each other directly by their first names when you aren't courting yet. But anytime Colin and Penelope meet, they are eager to call each other by their first names. There is also a limit to letters that can be exchanged between a single man and woman, but Colin and Penn constantly wrote to each other, which disobeyed society's rules. Penn and Colin behave as though they are already engaged, which is a compromising position for both of them since they are just friends. Even engaged couples must still have a chaperone present, but most footage of season three sneak peeks shows that Colin and Penn would be alone in private most of the time. Also, holding hands without gloves is strictly forbidden, and Penn and Colin shake hands at will, so the disregard doesn't get any worse than this. But Lord Deb isn't in any way like this, which is the perfect way a gentleman who wants to get married has to be. To court correctly, a man must send flowers to show interest in the young lady, which Lord Debling won't hesitate to do. However, Colin has never done this or thought of doing it, which is understandable. After all, Penn is just Penn. Also, there are a certain number of times a man can ask a lady for a dance, which you can see Lord Debling doing here 
as he writes on her dancing card. In the previous seasons, Penn was always without anyone to dance with, as evident in her empty dance card. And again, Colin cares too little about signing his friend's dance card, despite that they did dance together. While all of these show how Debling is different from Colin, it also exposes that Debling is Penn's best suitor because he wants to court Penelope properly, and wishing to court Penn Wright shows Debling respects her and society. On the other hand, Colin goes against all these rules and reveals the hard truth. He has no respect for Penn. Although both Penn and Colin are guilty of this, Colin is more at fault for not respecting boundaries even when Penn tries to stay away from him in season 3. Interestingly, Colin respects society's rules but doesn't think Penn deserves it because she doesn't fit into the category of girls he would court. The trailer exposes that Colin tried going through the proper channels to show his interest in courting other young ladies in season 3. To the surprise of of his family. So, it appears Colin isn't as clueless as everyone thinks, as that only applies when dealing with Penelope. But that doesn't relate to Lord Debling, who knows what he wants. In the trailer, they said he's eager to take a wife, and he's unlike other gentlemen who go around in circles before settling for one person. He knew instantly that he wanted Penelope. The actor who plays the role, Sam Phillips, spoke highly of his character and the excellent prospects he had has when he said, Lord Debling is after a love match this season. He's after someone who goes against the grain, someone who is a little bit of an outsider like him, and he spots Penelope. He thinks she's special because she's sort of seen as an outsider too. So he can see through the lady he's interested in, which was usually hard for gentlemen in the Regency era. Lord Debling could also see that Penn is much more than she shows because even when Penelope wasn't as confident, she could shake society with her Lady Whistledown columns. And now that uh, there's an additional glow up and confidence, nothing can stop Penn from being the diamond of the season. Whether Colin is involved or not, Lord Debling isn't the type to back down from what he wants, and it's none other than Penelope. Besides being an outsider, Lord Debling is interested in unusual things like wildlife, and is a conservationist and vegetarian. So, it's safe to say he doesn't conform to society, but knows how to give his dues to get what he wants. A man like this will be Penn's safe space, especially regarding her other life as a gossip writer. As someone who's very assertive, Lord Debling also wants a woman who can stand her ground. So, learning that Penn is Lady Whistledown won't shake him. He will fall in love with Penn even more for being so fantastic. Although Colin has also been supportive of Penn, it's expected that he will feel disappointed when he finds out that she's Lady Whistledown. From the books and previous seasons, Penn is searching for a suitor who will let her side business thrive, and Debling is that perfect match. Another exciting reason Debling could marry Penn is because he has her mother's full blessings. In the Regency era, it's not enough to fall in love, the family must be in support before there can be a successful union. And ever since Lady Portia Featherington has been presenting her daughters and getting embarrassed, Penn will finally be able to make her proud with Lord Debling, so her mother fully supports this new gentleman as she happily approves in the trailer saying, You have done very well. Oh, Even though Portia may have seen Colin around, she never considered him a potential suitor for Penn. Portia used to see Penn as a lost cause since she failed to get herself a husband after being out for two seasons. But there will be no doubt in her mind when Lord Debling shows up as she will be amazed and glad that a proper gentleman finally comes around for her daughter. Another thing viewers should remember is that Lady Whistledown controls the information that makes it around in society, whether good or scandalous news. At the beginning of the trailer, Lady Whistledown said, and it seems that our bon ton is moving with the change changing tide, so too is this author. As the author, Penn would be ready to make a significant change for herself whether Colin is involved or not. Also, she would write the gossip in her favor and could include Lord Debling's interest in her in the column, which Colin wouldn't like after reading. But then, the fact remains that Penn is the author of her own story and how it will play out in season 3. And with a gentleman like Lord Debling, who checks all the boxes for her, there's a high probability of her marrying him if it were so easy to get over Colin. 